need no more thing you run to hear me a giddy girl pumping See that now when the sound start jumping Girl them a flip it and a dip it and a run A new mother, a loving daughter and niece, a beloved business owner Wonderful girl, entrepreneur, uh, uh, a go-getter As you can see she built this from the ground up Police say someone walked into Madame D Beauty Bar and shot 21-year-old Destiny Harrison in the head Just 12 days before her murder, Harrison said she was attacked in her salon when she confronted burglars she wrote in a complaint that she found her neighbors inside, stealing hair bundles that she sells. When she tried to stop them, the couple beat her and took off with $3,000 worth of merchandise. She wrote, quote, I'm scared for my life and business, end quote. They're now charged with assault, theft, and burglary. My daughter with me. She with me. She ain't going nowhere. Everybody keeps saying they're sorry for my loss, and I ain't lost nothing. She was my first grandchild, and she gave me my first great-grandchild, so you know she was special to me. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Simone, and I'm back today with another video of this young lady that we have lost, unfortunately, to gun violence, and her name is Destiny Harrison. She is a 21-year-old salon owner, and she was murdered in her salon in front of her one-year-old child. And I just want to give my opinion about, you know, young black ladies not being valued, their lives not being, you know, we talk about Black Lives Matter, but we don't show that to each other. You know, that we have this young lady that was building up her community, mm -hmm. employing people, and um, being an entrepreneur, and she did everything that she needed to do to be correct, to do it the right way. She went to school, she got her license, and in the end, she paid with her life. So um, mm -hmm. I brought my friends in just to get their opinion on this whole you know, tragedy that's been going on in the last few years of black women just being disregarded. So, mm -hmm. you know, what do you guys think? Tell me. I think she was a beautiful young lady mm -hmm. and Gorgeous. she didn't deserve that. Mm -hmm. Like, she was kind of like Nipsey Hussle, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. She was building that's up exactly. her community, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. And then she's there in her own place of business and these people felt like they had the right to rob her mm -hmm. of her products to build up her business mm -hmm. and then rob her life ultimately. I yeah. think it's mm -hmm. disgusting. Yeah. You know, I, mm -hmm. that should have never happened. And you know, my condolences to her family. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Mm -hmm. She's so young and mm -hmm. to accomplish so much oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. at 21 yeah. Yeah, she and did with her. a baby. Yes. yes. Girl, yeah. you did She's that. She's doing it. Yeah. it. Literally, tears are coming in my eyes mm -hmm. right now because. Mm -hmm. Like, it reminds me kind of my story. I didn't even accomplish that mm -hmm. at her age. And for her to grind so much and then just have that just mm -hmm. taken away from her. And what did the police do about it? She said she was scared for her life, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. what happened? I, don't I know. mean, the amount of courage it takes. I know in our community, we have this whole um, no snitching thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Where something awful could happen to us, but because we don't want to like have anything else happen to us yeah. or have people look at us like we're snitches we don't say anything yeah. and she yeah. had enough courage to go to the, the authorities even yeah. though she was terrified yeah and right? you know report the situation mm -hmm. she did and, everything right you know look what happened you know it's really sad because i you know i've worked in the field that destiny mm -hmm. has worked in and doing yeah. hair yeah. and trying to service your community and be you know a voice of your community and a listening ear because mm -hmm. you know when you're a hairdresser a lot of people come to you they spill their whole life mm -hmm. in your hands and you're touching them and you're feeling them and you transfer energies you transfer spirits and you know all those customers that she will no longer be around to touch they feel that you know what i mean mm -hmm. that is a loss for the community and um it takes so, a special person exactly yeah. you're like the therapist mm -hmm. you, you're there for people when they get you know when people break up when divorces happen yeah. mm -hmm. when proms happen when weddings mm -hmm. take place yeah. funerals like you are one of the heartbeats of the community mm -hmm. and we all know black hair is very um, yes. important mm -hmm. in our community it's a, it's essential mm -hmm. you know what i mean and for us to have taken the life of this young lady i just say us because i mean like 
I just feel like it probably is someone from our community because mm -hmm. no one is really going to get so. that close to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It won't be an outsider per se. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if this had been someone of the other community, and I'm saying if it was a non-black person or a white person, we'd be out on the streets marching. Mm -hmm. So I just don't want anybody to take this thing lightly. Go out there and spread the word of this young lady. If you have something to say, say it. Like her death should not go um, mm -hmm. unspoken. Her death should not just go in vain mm -hmm. like that. There's a one year old who will forever be traumatized losing her mother. She was, mm -hmm. her mom was shot dead in front of her. You know what I mean? Oh. And this baby has to live without her mother mm -hmm. for the rest of her life. I mean, and there, there's a family that has lost a daughter, mm -hmm. a sister, a cousin, an aunt, you know, who's no longer around to to give to her community, to give to her family. It's tragic. Off of foolishness. Off of foolishness and possibly j and jealousy. The thing about it is yep. anything that Destiny jealousy. did, that means that you could have done it. She didn't mm -hmm. do anything yeah. um, extraordinary mm -hmm. in the sense of... Um, she didn't fly to Mars and come back and did something or, to, you know, threw some magic potion up in the air. She worked for it. She went to school. Hard. She grind. She did several jobs. And that's I mean, accessible to all of us. Yeah, I was, yes. you know, I was on, I think it's Paris Milan's video. And she mm -hmm. talked about how this girl had a job at Walmart. She worked at Popeye. She, mm. she was um, a bartender. Like, she did everything possible she held down several jobs to be where she is she wanted to be a celebrity stylist she yeah. wanted to be well known she did the work she was on her way exactly so if you were sitting over there mm -hmm. being dusty and didn't want to do the work you shouldn't have taken her life for mm -hmm. it so you go into her um her place of business steal you from her steal from her and then you beat her on top of that oh. you and this guy i'm not saying that they are the people who killed destiny because for right now we, we don't, don't know, know but it's looking hella suspect. Looking like that. Yes. It's looking hella suspect. Let's just say that. It's looking hella suspect mm -hmm. that you even had the audacity to think, oh, let me rob my feller stylist. Let me break into her shop and take her stuff because and all you got she was three hundred three thousand dollars worth of merch. Bundles. That was worth a life. That you're gonna resell and get what? How much? Three thousand. Because how what much was a the bundles, reason? What how was much a point? bundle's really going for? Terrible. Exactly. You wasn't going to get nothing. And you know the next thing that really pisses Disgusting. me off is that, okay, we have, this is a young black lady who's an entrepreneur in her own black yes. neighborhood. And you all, whoever you are that decided to rob this woman and take her life, you guys will allow outsiders from other communities to come into our mm -hmm. community and sell to Patronize us and then them. disrespect us. Mm -hmm. We've seen countless of videos mm -hmm. of people from various communities. I ain't trying to say y'all name because you ain't gonna get my video flagged. But I will say this, you have other patrons from other communities who come into the black community and they suck us dry. Yep. We are in their shops. Mm. We, If they even think that we steal, they are beating us, punching us, kicking us, mm -hmm. choking us out, doing all kinds of things and we still go back. And none of them ain't getting that smoke that Destiny got. Mm. Isn't that something? None of them caught that A smoke. Mess. But yet yeah, Destiny was grinding, doing what she had to do, building a um, community wealth because she was in a black neighborhood. Wow. So her dollar was supposed to be circulating within the community, right? right? So she would have probably hired girls from high school. She was allowing girls to come in and yep. be like apprentices and wow. learn the trade, which will then, you know, open up more businesses. And Why more... couldn't you just let her be great? Because she was winning, that means that we all won. Right? Why couldn't you just let her be great? Like, that's ridiculous. To shut somebody down in their prime at 21 when i think about where i was at 21 right, exactly and to know that somebody mm. would have taken my life i wouldn't even have had the life that i have now right. if somebody had snuffed it out at 21 years so old 21 young. she's only been out of diapers for maybe 16 years mm -hmm. she's a baby that's a baby 21 she just left high school Three years ago, maybe, yep. give or take, three yep. years. Yep. That's someone who's just left high school. That's someone who's just entering wow. into college. She wants to enjoy her life. She bought herself a new car. Also, you're going to have people who are haters who will be of like, course. oh, she was doing too much. She was flashing for the gram. She was just, it's a shame that you cannot work hard and treat yourself. 
Where is it said that you are not allowed to work hard and treat yourself? The Bible even says, mm-hmm. eat, drink, and be merry. Mm-hmm. So why should she have denied herself something? She saw a car. She liked it. People were hating on that. She wanted She wanted to open up a salon. She opened up three. They robbed her. Mm-hmm. She had a baby. They took her away from her baby. Like, what is it? What more? What more? What more losses do we need to happen in our communities for we, us to stop it? There's mm-hmm. Nipsey. That was unnecessary. He was giving back to his community. His life was taken. Wow. You get what I'm saying? And these are all people who wanted to do well for the community. And the same people who probably shoot her or kill her, take her life, be the first ones to be like, oh, if you move out of the community, oh, you think you better than You're people. You're Hollywood now. Yeah. They be the first <laughs> ones. Wow. The first ones who be ready to take you down will be the first ones to talk about you if you move out of our community and go somewhere mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. They be like, oh, you, you uppity you now. You think you're oh, you brand new now. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's just so sad to know that we've lost, you know, this pillar mm-hmm. in our community at such a young age. Mm-hmm. It's really, really sad. And I just, my prayers just go out to yes. Destiny's family. Likewise. And, um... You know, her. so far I got an update that her funeral costs were um, covered by a, um, I think he's a boxer. Um, Don't quote me on his name. I don't remember right now off the top of my head. But there was a, uh, he's a popular boxer. He Mm -hmm. inboxed the family and let them know that he would be willing to pay for her funeral. Because I know people are going to get on here and drag her about, oh, she have a, a Mercedes, but you ain't got no life insurance. B100. Ain't too many 21 year olds thinking around, thinking about life she's insurance. Not, exactly. Like Let's like, just be she's real. She's just starting her life. She's just yes. starting her life. So she's not thinking life insurance. So with that being said, you know, th- let, let's let this be a lesson that if you you are young and you're in a particular neighborhood and you feel like you're up and coming, maybe you should get life insurance. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is like a wake up call mm-hmm. for us to to look at these things because tomorrow is not promised mm-hmm. to anyone. That's right. You know, so that being said, let's not drag her about not having um, any life insurance at the age of 21. Most people wouldn't have had that anyways. Um, hell, most 50 year olds mm-hmm. don't have it. Mm. Right. Also, I, I just find it such a shame that a lot of us didn't know um, who Destiny Destiny was before right. this incident, mm-hmm. and you know mm-hmm. I would have loved to know about her right? before her this happened. Yeah, you know, her story. Yeah, give the you know, it, it, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame that something so tragic had to happen yeah. for her name to be put out there while she was doing such great things, you know? And you know, it's so weird because um, uh, Lovely T spoke on it mm-hmm. um, and she said that, you know, I think a year prior to her um, death, she made a statement mm-hmm. on Facebook talking about passing away and yeah. wanting to be a legend to her daughter. Wow. And we have to be careful of the things we speak we over our lives. The tongue is very powerful. The tongue is very, there's life and death mm-hmm. is in the power of the tongue. Mm-hmm. So I just want you guys to be careful of the things that you speak over your life, mm-hmm. right? The same way you can speak life, you can speak death. Yep. And we have to be mindful of that because, you know, you open yourself up to demonic um, mm-hmm. people and the persons yep. or persons. New levels, new devils. Right? They say. And the yeah, person yeah. or persons who chose to take mm-hmm. Destiny's life are definitely wow. demons. Like her uncle said, this was a demonic act. You could not be human and walk into a salon of people with a baby, Mm-mm. with an infant in your eyes view Disgusting. and put a bullet to her mother's head. So with that be said, you know, I'm going to leave you up to God Mm -hmm. and let him deal with you or her or him or whomever. I'm going to let God deal with y'all because if them streets get you, (laughs) you ain't going to want none. Trust me on that one. So with Mm -hmm. that being said, Destiny to Destiny's family, rest in peace. Um, I pray that God receives you. And um, I pray that the family, like I said, I always say that death is not something that you get over, but you will get through it Mm. as much as you can so r.i.p destiny and to that young baby um just know that your mother loved you she did everything she's an entrepreneur she was grinding for you and Mm -hmm. you grow Mm -hmm. up one day and you make her proud and you Mm -hmm. live in her legacy Mm -hmm. okay so we love you shout out to destiny and her family all the best thank you